I'm Dr. Cassie from Vetfolio and host of this B2B video on the Dermatologic Solution Tresiderm, sponsored by Beringer Ingelheim Animal Health. Joining me today is Dr. Andrew Schreibman. Hi, Dr. Schreibman. Thank you so much for being with us today. Hey there. It's our pleasure to have you. Dr. Scheidman is Senior Technical Service Veterinarian at Beringer Ingelheim Animal Health. So thank you again for taking the time to talk to me. It's a pleasure to be here. I appreciate the opportunity. All right, so let's start by talking about the active ingredients in Tresiderm. And there are three of them, and they make Tresiderm a versatile product for a variety of conditions in both dogs and cats. So tell us a little bit about the conditions that Tresiderm is prescribed for and how it works to address them. Sure. So if you think about the name Tresiderm, Tres means three and Derm means skin. And Tresiderm contains three active ingredients with different mechanisms of action to treat otitis externa and various other disorders of the skin. The first of these, dexamethasone, is a corticosteroid which acts to reduce inflammation. Secondly, neomycin is a broad spectrum antibiotic which treats many of the bacteria associated with skin disease. And lastly, thiabendazole is an antifungal agent that's known to be effective against many uh, common fungal dermatoses. Any one of these factors, inflammation, bacteria, Fungi can be a primary cause of skin disorders. However, when skin disorders happen, it's usually not just one, but each often acts as an aggravating factor in causing discomfort to the pet. Sure, so one of the advantages of Tresiderm is that it's safe for use in both dogs and cats, which is not true of many other topical solutions. And of course, both acute and chronic forms of skin disorders respond to treatment with Tresiderm. Can you just give us an overview of the conditions that Tresiderm is used for? On the label, Tresiderm is indicated as an aid for the treatment of certain bacterial, mycotic, and inflammatory skin disorders. Among the most common of these is otitis externa, inflammation of the outer ear. Incidentally, in people, swimmer's ear is the most common cause of otitis externa. Dermatocomycosis, or fungal skin infections, which is commonly referred to as ringworm with our clients. Pyotraumatic dermatitis, which has the wonderfully apt name hot spots. Focal pyoderma, which is a limited bacterial skin infection. And of course, flea allergic dermatitis for pets who are allergic to saliva when fleas unfortunately take meals from our dogs and cats. What is the name for hot spots again? I was always taught acute moist dermatitis, but you used a different term. Well, as an ex-pathologist, I can tell you the scientific terms tend to change a bit. And <laughs> one thing about veterinarians, it seems we love to change the names of things. So yes, a, acute moist dermatitis, which is which I think is pretty apt because it's moist and it happens very quickly. But the common name that the, the last dermatologist I spoke to said, we prefer the name pyotraumatic, which basically means pus and due to some sort of physical injury, dermatitis. Um, okay. I don't know why they changed it, to be honest, but that's that's the common name today. That makes sense. I mean, it's I, I mean, and even whether or not it's caused by something traumatic, I think it's it's kind of traumatic for the dog and for the owners who have to see it because they can get pretty bad pretty quickly. And I love that Tresiderm is so easy to apply and it gives immediate relief to my patients. Can you describe how it's best applied to both the ears and the skin? Absolutely. You know, many of these disorders, they produce a lot of gunk, which is my fancy term for organic debris <laughs> that, that covers the, uh, the area that's affected. So really, Tresiderm works best when the medication is applied directly to the skin, where, where it can, where it can um, uh, be most effective. So before applying that gunk, again, needs to be removed. So wax in the ears, crust, purulent, pussy material, or even any foreign material from, you know, from vegetation that dogs just picked up walking around the neighborhood really should be removed before applying the product. The, uh, the nozzle, the packaging really contributes to the ease of it being administered. For ear conditions, again, depending on the condition, you want to apply five to 15 drops twice a day. For other skin conditions, you want to get enough of the product on to moisten the area that's affected. And that usually works out to about two to four drops per square inch. And again, that's also applied twice a day. And again, that's enough to moisten the area of the lesion. The duration of Tristerm also shouldn't exceed one week. Okay, that makes sense. Um, and I, I think I have an idea of the answer to this question, to this next question, just based off of 
clinical experience, but how long does it take for a trastoderm to give our patients relief from these conditions that they're experiencing? That, that's a really great question. Um, I really wish I had a really great answer. <laughs> and the best answer I can give you is it depends. And, and the reason it depends is because there are so many different variables that go into skin conditions. Uh, what's the extent of the condition? How long it's been going on? What's the primary uh, cause of it? Are there any additional complicating factors? For example, does the dog have an underlying disease such as uh, an endocrine disease like hypothyroidism or diabetes or Cushing's, et cetera? Basically, every case is different. So I, I would love to give you a more specific example, but you know, the, the label duration is about one week. So we hope to see improvement by the end of that week. Sometimes you see improvement relatively quickly. One time when I was doing emergency work, I had a client come in at 1.30 in the morning with a little Shih Tzu. The client was very distraught. The dog would not leave. Um, the dog kept uh, biting and paying attention to her rear end. It was keeping the client up all night. And the client brought the dog in. And then it was a case of pyotraumatic dermatitis, aka hot spots. I applied the Tresoderm, sent the client home with it, called up the client the next morning, and even though the spot wasn't completely healed, the client did notice considerable improvement just in the few hours until morning. Oh, and I would imagine that was probably even better results than the client was hoping for. So that's fantastic. Um, it's always nice when we get those cases. On the other hand, um, I do remember a uh, Labrador retriever actually. This one actually had um, uh, was a concurrent diabetic and had some flea allergy dermatitis. Uh, not only did we put the dog on flea control, but we applied Tresoderm to some of the infected area. And I checked in with the client two, maybe, well, it was actually three days later. I remember because it was a Monday and came in on a Thursday. And we did see some improvement, but considerable improvement by the end of, much more improvement by the end of the week. So the time frame is, is somewhat variable based on the conditions we discussed. Absolutely, absolutely, as with many products that we use. So what about our puppies and kittens um, and these little guys? Is it safe to use this product in puppies and kittens? Well, one of the things I really like about Tresterm is that there's no minimum age requirement. So there's no minimum age that you have to wait for. I, I think it's a good reminder though that puppies and kittens, you know, they have, they experience different skin disorders than say a seven to eight year old dog. Um, so it's always a good reminder that, you know, for clients, for any skin condition to have it evaluated by a veterinarian, um, you know, to determine uh, what's going on and, and the best reason to manage that condition. These are all, I'm happy that we're talking about these questions because I feel like a lot of these are questions that I have clinically, like how many drops do I put in the ear? Um, which fortunately that's how many drops I've been using. So that's good. Um, and you know, how long can, how young can you use it? So, um, so thank you so much for going over all of that with us. Uh, so one thing to note is that Tresoderm does need to be refrigerated. Is there a temperature range that you recommend for Tresoderm? Yes, we, it does do best and preserves the stability of the product and then prolong the efficacy when it is refrigerated. The recommended storage temperature is two to eight degrees Celsius. And again, if you're like me and don't like the metric system, that's 36 and a half to 45 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, my refrigerator is set at 41 degrees. Now, how accurate that is, I really have no idea, but most clients' uh, refrigerators at home are gonna fit that range very well. And it also coincides with the recommended storage temperature for veterinary vaccines um, for hospitals to store as well. So. It's really easy, you know, it shouldn't be much of an issue to, to manage that. And it can certainly survive brief excursions. So you're not gonna, client's not gonna harm the product by driving home from the veterinary hospital and say 95 degrees Southern weather before they can get it into their house, uh, into their refrigerator at home, so. We know that compliance is a concern when using antibiotics and antifungals. How do you recommend educating clients about the importance of finishing a full prescribed course of Tresoderm? Yeah, it, it's a common challenge for us in practice and compliance with our clients, uh, not just for skin conditions, but, but really almost any condition. I found that most clients do best when there's a, an end or a goal in sight. And I think before they leave the hospital or clinic that day to have them come in and set up a recheck exam one week later, 
skin condition is in, in general are things that you really want to be aggressive with them early and not let them develop into a more chronic long-standing problem and, and try and resolve it as quickly as possible. So I prescribe Tresiderm and I love that it can be used for such a wide variety of conditions in dogs and cats. Um, you know, I have a yellow lab, so very familiar <laughs> with using Tresiderm. Um, he's got a, got a chronic right ear that we fight with from time to time. Uh, so thank you so much for joining us to talk about it, uh, to talk about it and giving us a little more information on it. Oh, it's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. And thank you to Beringer Ingelheim Animal Health for sponsoring this edition of Vet to Vet. And remember, if one animal is better off because of you today, it's a great day. Important safety information. Tresoderm, thiabendazole, dexamethasone, neomycin sulfate solution is for topical use only in dogs and cats. On rare occasions, application of the product may result in erythema or discomfort in the treated areas. Discomfort in the treated area can last from 24 hours to 48 hours. For more information, please see full prescribing information.